We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at Batman issue 104. This is from the Rebirth line from DC Comics. Written by James Tinian IV. Art by Ryan Benjamin and Danny Meeky. Bengal and Gillam March. Colors by Dave Barron. Letters by Clayton Cowles. Cover by Jorge Jimenez and Tommy Mori. Edited by Ben Abernathy, associate editor Dave Walgos. Cover's okay, except Batman's hand looks really weird. That's a messed up perspective shot. But if you can get past that, it's, it's okay. Pass. So Batman wakes up in a familiar setting and he's been stitched up by Ghost Maker and Clown Hunter and Harley Quinn are there and they're unconscious. Meanwhile, Dick Grayson talks to Oracle and fills her in a little bit on Ghost Maker and we learn that Bruce Wayne is sad because he misses his friend the way they were and they had a falling out because of some stupid reason. Now the scenes with Dick Grayson are different artists and it looks like trash. It's so jarringly different and more amateur looking his face looks very blocky unlike Gillum March's more rounded faces more realistic this is definitely a much more animated style more manga looking and it is incredibly jarring to see the difference between the two I'm not even a huge Gillum March fan but he's a much more competent artist I think the other style is very simplistic very manga oriented with very minimalist line work except for action lines where everybody goes crazy it's a completely different style of art anyway the real crux of this is clown hunter kid has got his chance to kill harley quinn and we're left with a cliffhanger ending and i don't care about any of this this was stupid the concept for the story is fine but how many more times are we gonna dive into batman's past to find somebody that he trained with it gets a bit tiresome and ghost maker is such a stupid name almost as bad as clown hunter now ghost maker has potential to be an interesting character but clown hunter is not it's a boring character of an annoying kid and his costume is loose ludicrous looking so i thought it was tiresome they're really losing me on this series they do show the old batman costume with the yellow chest symbol that was really cool gillam march does a really good job drawing that so i thought that was kind of cool it was cool to see dick grayson as robin but overall the story is just really dragged out decompressed and kind of boring and i really hate clown hunter and ghost maker they're just really unlikable characters especially clown hunter he would have been killed by now so i don't know i don't particularly find this all that appealing and there seems to be a very heavy focus on those two characters and batman is becoming supporting cast in his own book so i'm not particularly thrilled by that tinian's a good writer but i think he's losing interest in writing batman and he's more interested in these side characters that he created than he is in writing a batman story so i'm rapidly losing interest in this title and probably i'm gonna drop it but i have to get a little bit more caught up and we'll see if it gets better but so far it's not looking good for this book so i'm not gonna recommend this unless you could get it out of a dollar bin two dollars at the most i don't think there's enough here for me to get excited about there's not a lot of action the story is sort of boring and i'm losing interest in it by the issue and this focus on these supporting characters really really is boring and it's a weird obsession in modern comics i didn't pick up a book called batman to read about a guy named clown hunter or a guy named ghost maker these aren't interesting to me at all that'll do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel in other ways pick yourself something up nice from the teespring store or you can support me on streamlabs which accepts paypal for a one-time donation or on patreon for reoccurring donations all those links are in the description and as always we hope to see you on the next one